All right. Good morning, Dr. Oliver. Good morning. Um, we know that you're a um, holistic phys uh, physician. Right. Functional uh, medicine doctor. I deal with the functions of the body. Right. Um, there's a lot of people that um, some people have wear glasses, some people have high blood pressure, diabetes. Can you give um, a breakdown of the first of all, let's say um, somebody with eye problem, retina, eye retina problem. Right. Well, the first thing, diabetes, high blood pressure, glaucoma with the eyes, in the back of the eyes, all of that stems to mucus in the eyes. So what you want to do every morning is to clean those mucus out. You want to clear it out doing a, a functional exercise. Right. A functional exercise that I do because I know a couple of years ago my eyes were failing and I started doing it and now I see brighter, I see clearer, I can see distance, I see short, I can read closer. I don't have to go like this, I go like this, like a normal person, I read in my time. Before, when my eyes were going, I have to go like... So, the exercise I do is in the morning, you get up, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. 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 Then you look straight. Six. Six. You're doing all the muscles. You exercise all your muscles. Down. Muscles get stronger, your eyes get stronger. Simple as that. Your eyes get weak because the muscles are not being exercised. So you just, just keep exercising them. Don't move your body or nothing. It's just the eyes you're exercising. So after your, your, your regular morning walk, then you could tap. This tap now helps release the meridians. Maybe 10, 10 to the side. 10 to the front. These also releases meridians in the rest of your body. So you're talking about your heart, your lungs, all of them get exercise. This one right here, specifically for your lungs. In the back, that's, that's very important for the mucus to get out of the back of the eyes. So you do the back. And last but not least, you want to release white blood cells to fix these areas. White blood cells um, comes from this meridian right here in your um, sternum. So you pat it and you pat right here and you get that. That releases white blood cells. This releases your um, third eye. Exercise your third eye by tapping on it you know, releasing its um, endorphins, its meridians, so that it can work properly. And that's it. You do your eye exercise, your brain exercise, all of that. The other thing that I didn't mention for the brain is just doing something like this. If you um, wear airing air piece, you take it out and you do it. But just to massage it. This is actually a brain exercise. This helps to develop the brain. So you go and then you do you turn your hand over. One, two, three, four, and that develop your brain and everything. So there you go. Wonderful, wonderful. Okay, so um, we know about how to exercise our eyes, our third eye, and the brain, right? What advice would you give to someone to um, maintain uh, normal blood pressure levels? Just what I did: exercise and a lot of water. Walk in the morning at least 30 minutes and do a lot of drinking of water. That controls your, your blood pressure. Exercise is the key for those kind of things because it's your heart that gets congested, again, with mucus. So it slows it down, so it puts more pressure on it to work. So as the pressure, as the heart, that's why the blood pressure is the systolic and the diastolic. What goes in, what comes out. That's what you measure in the numbers. So it's how, how well how much is flowing, how functional your heart is. That's what blood pressure is. So the more you walk, the more you tap. These kind of toppings are very good for that, for circulation. So when you walk, 
in the morning, you can tap your, under your heart. Tap here for your, this is for the kidneys, because the kidneys function helps with your high blood pressure. It brings it down. So you want to tap it for the kidney right here. The reason why when you have high blood pressure for a long time, the first thing that go is your kidney. That's because your kidney and your heart works to keep, to work together. One cleans it, one pumps. Then you have your liver and pancreas. Then you do your, this is what you call your uh, intestines, colon, all that area, and the bladder. So you have to release these meridians. It's not just walking, but these are exercises also that you need to do. Patting, patting exercise is very important for your blood pressure. Circulation, you know. Circulation. So you pat your circulation back into going. Inside. Circulation. Massage the kidneys. Massage the kidneys. And all that is good for your heart, your kidneys, your liver. Once